Hi there! I'm Megaphone! I suppose you're all wondering why I've gathered you all here. Let me guess, you're hosting an object show. Excellent guess! And a correct guess as well, I might add. Yes, I'm hosting the new object show, Object Track. Well, I'd love to explore space. Actually, this show will not take place in space. Don't let the name fool you. Oh, come on! The show is called Object Track because we'll all be exploring the object world, having contests along the way. Where do we explore first? First, we'll look for the island of Object 2, because if we find it, the grand prize will be a trip there. Sounds interesting. It is interesting, but take a look at this screen. The red circle shows where we are. But what about the red triangle? That's where my sister Loudspeaker is. She's also hosting an object show in which the contestants search for the island of Object 2. We need to get there before she does, or Object Track will be cancelled. Whoa. So get ready to boldly go where no object has gone before! So how do we pick the teams? I have this ball pit here. Each ball has a person's name written on it. The first two people chosen from this ball pit will be team captains. Sounds easy enough. Water balloon! Oh no. What? He and I don't get along very well. If I don't get picked as the other team captain, he'll pick me onto his team. Hi! Phew. So the team captains are chosen! Now to pick team members! Do we have to pick from the ball pit? No, just pick team members from the remaining 18 contestants. Okay, soccer ball, if we have an art contest, you'd be very useful. I pick you onto my team. Wow, I don't get picked first very often. Getting to the island of Object 2 will probably involve swimming. So I pick swim trunks. He's a great swimmer. That's for sure. I picked soccer ball already, so I think I should pick beach ball as well. But where is he? He's probably bouncing around again. I'll handle this. What was that? That piping is a landing pad. When beach ball lands on it, he stops bouncing. Got it. What happened? Did I miss anything? Water balloon picked you up in his team. Yahoo! I've picked swim trunks already, so I think I should pick his twin sister bathing suit. I'll pick Drake. I guess I'll take Flassie. She loves to go on adventures, so she'd be useful on my team. I wouldn't want to take Scrolly. He and Flasky are best friends, so they should be on the same team. But Drake is friends with Horn and Pipey. But since I can't choose two people at a time, I'll start with just four. Easy for you to say! Thanks for the suggestion, Water Balloon. I guess I'll pick Scrolly. That leaves Pipey still available for my team. I pick her. Yay! I pick Snowflake, the silent type. Oh yeah, you do talk. Just not much because you don't speak English. Snowflake must be stupid. She doesn't even know how to speak English. Broccoli, be nice! Oh, be quiet, you little basket of... ...goodies. Anyway, yeah, like Ty said, Snowflake does talk. But not much because she doesn't speak English. She speaks real Korean and mock Korean, both of which I understand. Good to know. Um, I'll take music note. Good choice! I'm a good swimmer myself. The dictionary says he understands the two languages Snowflake speaks, so it only makes sense that I should pick him onto my team. I'll pick 
white helmet. She's tons of fun. I can grow. Why did I overlook stethoscope? She has the means to stop Beach Ball from bouncing. Huh? Oh, you're talking about the landing pad. Precisely, stethoscope. That's why I'm choosing you next. Hmm, this is tricky. It's down to broccoli, basketing, and rolling. Broccoli is disgusted at nearly everything. Basketty tends to talk a lot, and she has an explosive personality. Literally. Rolling Pin is quite clumsy, but he seems to be the best choice out of the three. I pick him. And that leaves Broccoli and Basketty. Basketty seems to be the better choice of the two. I pick her. Yahoo! Well, I guess that leaves me with Broccoli. I'm getting picked last. Ugh. So that's everyone! Now for team names! Do we have to pick team names from the ball pit? No, just think of team names and tell me what you've come up with. I think I've come up with mine, the Squeezy Foxes. Super! Water Balloon, your team is the Squeezy Foxes! How about the Floppy Rabbits for my team? Okay then! Hi, your team is the Floppy Rabbit! Now before we begin, let's generate your team boards! Our team boards? That's right! Each team gets a square board, five spaces by five spaces. Each space has a different number on it. Then ten random spaces on each board are filled. At the end of each contest, two members of the winning team are to pick one ball each from the ball pit. When a ball is picked from the ball pit, the space with the number on that ball gets filled. Once a team gets five in a row, they get a new board. Simple as that. Oh, here's your boards. They were made as I was explaining. Now to get to the first contest. What is the first contest? To get to the Island of Object 2, we have to cross that river. So, why not make it a contest? If you're a good swimmer, you must swim across the river. If not, find some other way to get across. The first team with all its members across wins. Ready, set, go! I take it you're not a very good swimmer. Yeah, I've been trying to get swimming lessons for Music Note, but for some reason it never seems to work out. And I assume you can't swim at all because of your lack of limbs. Yeah. Need some help? Yeah, but aren't you on the other team? I can still help. How so? Well, I'm a basket. The two of you can ride in me to the finish line. That's a great idea. You seem to be a bit small. Not a problem. Megaphone? How did you get across? There's a bridge right over there. Pie and Rope could have used that to cross, but their strategy seems effective as well. Now each team has two members across. Yahoo! You should update your scoreboard, Megaphone. I've made it across. So you have. Hey guys, you know what? I think we need to form an alliance. Good idea, Rake. That's an excellent idea. Horn, I thought you were going to say your catchphrase. Easy for you to say. An alliance is a great idea, even though nearly every object show has one. Hey, it looks like Snowflake and Dictionary are ahead of us. Well, I guess the rabbits are in the lead now. Is that a 43? Someone scanned the area for oddness. Water Balloon, that's just the scoreboard showing that the rabbits have four members across. Well, we have three. Nothing to worry about. I guess the foxes are in the lead again. Phew. So who are we still waiting for? On the fox team, there's soccer ball, beach ball, flight helmet, and stethoscope. On the rabbit team, there's swim trunks, bathing suit, flasky, scrolly, rolling pin, and broccoli. Make that just flasky, scrolly, rolling pin, and broccoli. For the rabbit team, that is. Eight to six. Is someone's shoe ringing? Wow! Both teams are neck and neck again! Each team has two members who still need to make it across. Which team will win? 
Nine to nine. Once again, I ask, is someone's shoe ringing? No, no water, water balloon. balloon. No, no one's, one's shoe, shoe is, is ringing. ringing. But it's, it's down, down to soccer ball and broccoli. Which, Which one, one will, will make, make it across the river and win for their team? Hey, soccer ball. Guess what? You're so indecisive, you probably couldn't decide which way to swim to reach the finish line. I'm clearly going to win. That's what you think! And the squeezy foxes win! What? My team lost to a soccer ball with a hard time making up his mind? Ugh. So now I need two foxes to come to the ball pit. Here I come! Me too! Okay, okay then. then! Each of you pick a ball from the ball pit! 43! 43? Not again! 35! So Don't you each pick the ball from the ball pit! Nice going! Now, since the squeezy fox is one, that puts the floppy rabbit up for elimination! However, I have a surprise for everyone! Until we reach the Island of Object 2, the team captain will have immunity! That's a twist. Also, I have something for Music Note and Rope. Music Note and Rope. Each of you was the first on your team to make it across. As a reward, you each get one of these. This is nice, but what is it? That's a winning ball. If you're up for elimination, you may use it to convert half your dislikes to likes. Sounds useful. So vote for a member of the Floppy Rabbits to be eliminated. Music note, when is a good time for you to give me those swimming lessons? I should be ready by the next episode.